All right, here we go. Match two with our Christmas 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 edition elf deck. Uh, we won the die roll. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, what do we got going on here? We have a single land um, and one dork, uh, which will lead to, if it doesn't die, a turn two Elvish Visionary to draw an extra card to hopefully find a second land. Oh, wow, this is greedy. <sighs> this is really greedy. I have multiple two drops, though, which I can cast if the Mystic survives. I'm gonna be greedy. It's Christmas, right? That's what Christmas is all about. Being greedy, getting presents, I don't know. Here we go. All right, opponent. Please don't bolt the bird. Don't push the mystic. Don't push the elf. No push yet. I think we're uh, in the clear. Okay. Here's a question. Visionary or another mystic? Visionary potentially draws us a land. I think we gotta do that. Visionary, come on, land. Damn it. <laughs> now they're now they know. <laughs> now they know we missed our land drop. Ooh, energy. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. There's a battlefield, you get an energy, you may pay two. If you do draw a card, you lose one life. Okay, so it's the energy version of Dark Confidant, basically. I, I, I was out of the game during, like, Kaladesh, so I'm not familiar with any of these cards. I just, for some reason, I wasn't playing Magic that much at that point. All right, we got a land. We don't look so stupid. Um... Huh. We can... Let's... Dwinen's Elite... As well as Mystic. And now we're cooking. Uh, I'm not gonna attack in with my... Well, actually, maybe I should. I mean, what are they gonna do? Block and lose their... Lose their energy, Bob? Is that nickname a stretch? You know, Bob, Dark Confidant, Energy, Bob. They are gonna block. Okay, we'll trade. I think that's worth it. I have enough dorks. I can afford to lose one. Rogue Refiner. Again, sorry, I have to read all these. I don't know what the hell they are. 3-2 three, for 3, when it enters the battlefield, draw a card and get energy. Okay. Seems like what they want to be doing. Sure. Ooh, look at that. We're drawing lands like nobody's business now. 1, 2, 3. Ah, uh, we're not quite there. We could be... If we go... Clan Caller. And then... If we activate Nykthos, it's one, two, three, four, five mana, which is enough for, I guess, a Beast Whisperer? I don't know. That's something. Sure. Five mana. We'll cast a Beast Whisperer. And I guess we pass. I don't. Okay. Like this guy's done his job, right? He served his purpose, so they'll probably willing to make a trade. I don't know if it's worth losing my. I don't think it is. I have a bane fire. I'm gonna leave everybody alive. For uh, hopefully a big next turn. I mean, we can use mana to Elvish Clan Caller. 
We can we have the Bane Fire in hand. Harnessed Lightning. Choose target creature. You get three energy counters. You pay any amount of energy deals that much damage to that creature. Okay. Bye bye, Beast Whisperer. Okay, another energy bob. Yep, yep, yep. No attacks. Well, look at that. Another Beast Whisperer. Um, I think we want to... Huh. If we Xenagos... So let's say we cast Xenagos. He'll give us five mana. We can clan collar again. Well, let's do that. I don't know. Sure. Three, four, Xenagos. We're going to plus him. And let's just get a bunch of green. We'll get us another clan caller. Um, okay. We will, sure, we'll attack with both. All right, they're gonna do it. They are, they draw a card. They have six cards in hand, damn. They're killing it over there. Glory bringer, good God. Flying haste. Oy, okay. I kill off a clan caller. So is it exerted now? So it doesn't untap. And he's taken out Xenagos. Okay. Sure. Double Banefire, that's fun. Um, okay. If we swing in with everybody. Well, how much? One, two, three, four, five. Make those taps for five. Add an amount of green. For five and six. Let's find another clan caller, put that onto the battlefield, and then I guess we attack in. Attack in with these two. And now we're getting them down to the point where uh, a nice Bane Fire should do the trick. That Glory Blinger Bringer will not untap because he has exerted all his energy. A tune with Aether. Search your life for a basic land, reveal it, put it in your hand, okay. They get an island. Whirler Virtuoso. Pay three, okay. Oh, double Nykthos, that's interesting. So let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to leave open red. I have to remember that. 
So let's activate Nykthos this way. Add a bunch of green. Let's play a Nykthos. Choose a Nykthos to keep, the untapped one, please. Then let's add a bunch of green. <laughs> What'd they scoop? They scooped, okay. All right, let's go to sideboard. So, against the energy deck. Um, I don't really know. Um, what is the... I see, I was, I'm sorry, I'm so, uh, I was so out of the loop at this point in, uh, magic, the magic history. Aetherworks Marvel, is that the card that combos somehow, what does it do? You think pay a bunch of energy cast a card without paying its mana cost. Okay, so they get like a big giant dumb thing for free, maybe? All right. Well, uh, that can blow up the Aetherworks Marvel. Rex Sage. Yeah, maybe we bring in some of those. Fry. Doesn't seem great. Lava Coil, whatever. Craft Digger's Cage. Can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. Aha! Uh -huh. mm. Hold on, hold on. How is Aetherworks Marvel worded exactly? You may cast a card from among them. Look at the top six of your library. You may cast a card, so you would be casting from the library. Okay, so Craft Digger's Cage should shut down Aetherworks Marvel. Um, mm. All right, so let's bring in a couple of those. How about that? And maybe a Rex Sage for good measure. And I think we lose, um, what do we lose? Maybe we lose the, like a Paradise Druid, a Beast Whisperer, and a Xenagos? Sure, try it like that. All right, so we're on the draw. I feel like this energy deck could be scary. Like, they could potentially get this going pretty fast. Um, we got our Graph Digger's Cage. That's great. We got a turn one play. We need another land, but we are on the draw, so... Uh, let's keep this. We got our Banefire. We got our Graph Digger's Cage. We just need land, and we're uh, in good shape. Looks like they're off to a slow start. No attune with Aether. There's our land. All right, I'm feeling good. I think we go Llanowar Elves to start. We don't need the Graft Digger's Cage yet. They're not anywhere close to uh, doing their thing. Servant of the Conduit. Add one mana of any color. Okay, Energy Dork. All right, what do we have for a three drop? Uh, turn two Steel Leaf Champion seems good. Let's do that again. Party time. Merry Christmas, bitch. There's the Attune with Aether. We're gonna find their other color, an island. Yep, so they got all their colors now. Whirler Virtuoso. They now have six energy. And so next turn, they could drop another land, play the Aetherworks Marvel, and activate it with their six energy. So I think it's time for Graph Digger's Cage. Ooh, double Banefire. Um, yeah, let's throw out the cage. And let's throw out an Elvish Visionary, see if we can hit a land. We do not make our land drop. That's okay. Bash in with the Steel Leaf Champion. Cannot be blocked. Because he's too small. He's too small.
All right, are they going for it? Glory bringer. Okay. Oh, how much damage does it do? Four damage. How convenient. All right, fine. I'll take it. Ooh, another one. I like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll go, let's get another steel leaf out there, I suppose. Um, no other land to play. Yeah, we're not attacking into that. Shock themselves to do what? Something big. Another glory bringer. <laughs> Yikes. They are going for it. Okay, the race is on. Yeah. Well, that flies. These are all huge. Oh my god, so I'm taking four, five, nine. That's fine. No blocks. Yikes, that hurts. Okay, this is unfortunate. To any target, so I have to X, I need five mana, I only have three at the moment. Still not hitting lands. <sighs> yeah, this one doesn't untap, this one does. Mm. Two for the price of one with Dwinan's Elite. Yep. Get out another dork. And yeah. So we're taking five in the air and then four on the ground. Can they throw this four damage at my face? No, just a creature, okay. All right, here comes the team. Taking out that guy. All right, so five in the air. I am down to two. <laughs> so I have to chump both of these, basically. So I will we'll throw this guy under the bus. Throw this guy under the bus. Two. Lint sleeve siphoner. Servant of the conduit. Oh god. Okay. Stomping ground has to come in tapped. <laughs> I can't afford for it not to. Uh we don't have any red mana, so I can't even bane fire. Uh yeah, we're done here. Let's call it. We are done. Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think if I make any changes. Four damage to target creature. How big was the glory bringer? Was it a four four? Maybe? Let's see. Glory. Bringer, pardon me while I do some Googling. Glory bringer. It is a it's a four four. Okay. So lava coil could be useful. 
So maybe, yeah, let's bring in a couple lava coils and let's take out a bane fire and something else. Let's take out a Marwin, I suppose. Yeah, we'll try it like that. All right, we're on the play this time. Let's hope for a fast curve. Uh, it's not great. Yeah, it's not not ideal, but I don't know if I can throw it away. We have a turn one graph digger's cage, I guess. Into like a turn. I mean, we have a we have a curve. There's no ramp. We got no dorks. But the clan collar is... Ugh, let's keep it. We'll keep it. Let's see what the opponent does. They mulligan down to six. All right, so they went down to six. Turn one cage. Pass the turn. All right, so they're off to a slow start. That's good. Um, Twinin's Elite or Elvish Visionary? I think Twinin's Elite. So we have two bodies that get pumped by the Clan Collar next turn, potentially. And we'll pass. Oh, oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. You have to control another elf to get the token. Oh God, what a punt. Well, it's clear that I, uh, you know, don't play elves ever. Um, I should probably read the card. Yikes. Oh, that's such a bummer. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me too hard. It's not great. It's not great. Oh my god, and I just clicked the wrong thing again. I wanted to play Marwin. <laughs> what is going on? Yikes. All right, get your shit together, man. Okay, so two, <laughs> two misplays in a row. Harness Lightning, okay. Are they gonna attack or leave back a blocker? They're staying on the defensive. Um, okay, now let's play Marwin. Oy. Do we attack Dwinan's Elite into this? I don't think so. I think we wait until we have the Clan Caller out. Yeah, pass. Like, I don't really want to make that trade. Ether Hub. Quit copying me, bro. All right, so they're attacking in. I will take it. Um, so now, oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess I could do I could do visionary and Lanowar elves. Make the most of our mana here. What are you doing? What kind of response is this? Get out of town. Noxious, Gret, destroy target of this green or white, you gain one life. Fine. Hey, we hit our land. I think it's worth shocking ourselves here. Now, we can go clan caller, uh, and then
then swing in with a 3-3. That's something. Aether Sphere Harvester. 3-5, flying. When it enters, you get energy. Gains lifelink. Crew 1. Okay. Flyers are slightly annoying. It's alright. Yeah, I'll take it. No blocks. Noxious grasp on the clan collar. Ugh, so unfortunate. Brought in all the removal. Okay, so... Nykthos isn't doing much here. One, two, three, four. We'll Beast Whisperer. And then we will Lanamore Elves draw a card. Stomping ground, nice. Although I just played my land, correct? Yes, I did. Begin combat. We'll swing in with this guy. Oh, they could crew this. I forgot about that. I am so bad at this game. Big, dumb idiot. Feels so bad. What a punt. And they gave it lifelink. <laughs> Yikes. I'm so sorry, everyone. Well, at least by now, I hope you know, you don't come to this channel to, like, learn how to play well. Like, for um, we're not pros here. You're not learning, like, watching to learn from us. You're watching for cool, janky decks and hilarious misplays. Or something like that. All right, if we can somehow pull through this, I mean, that'll be cool. But uh, it's not looking good for our hero. Yep, a life-linking 3-5 flyer. Down to 11. Well, there's a Bane fire. Uh, I don't think it's going to quite get us there. So let's see. If I play the Stomping Ground, activate Nykthos for 4 mana plus three more, seven, so Banefire for six. That's sorcery speed, which is unfortunate. I want to kill off that uh, Harvester over there. Um, so do we just hold back for the moment? I guess we do. Stomping ground. We will not pay. Like, we could take out one of these small things, but I don't really care. Yeah, no attacks. We'll, we'll continue to hold back. What is this? Glorybringer? Yep. The big bad dragon. This is not going well. Seven in the air. Brutal. Okay, they kill that off. Yup, it gets lifelink. Seven in the air takes us down to four. Three from that takes us down to one. <laughs> Ugh. God, I guess I'll chump block. A land. All right, so Nykthos isn't adding any extra mana, but available to us, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Banefire for seven. Um, that's not doing anything. We can Banefire off the drag. Oh, that doesn't untap. 
we can bane fire. This guy. Leave up a blocker. This doesn't untap, so we're getting three in the air. So we'll survive another turn, technically. Let's kill off this guy. Another glory bringer. Okay, we're done here. Womp womp. That'll do it. All right, we lost another one. Um, well, that's unfortunate. It's too bad. Uh, yeah, they just had uh, all the removal for our stuff, and we didn't have any removal for their stuff. Um, oh, well. Cool. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next round.